Hey everyone, this is Lisa from TRW, and in this video I'm going to be making another project from my fall Target Dollar Spot haul. I got these two mugs, these metal mugs, and I am customizing them with cute little coordinating phrases to go with fall or the holiday season. Super easy project. Uh, I'm going to show you some things that work well. I'm going to probably make a few mistakes in here, but a fun learning experience on these two mugs. All right, so I am in Silhouette Studio. I've typed out and picked fonts that I like for these two mugs. I haven't sized them. So let me take the fill off of these so you can see it. So I just did a combination of a script font and like a hand lettered one. This one's called Salt and Spices Pro. This is the bold version, believe it or not. And then this bottom one is called Cranky, but it has a K. Um, I bought these a long time ago. I don't really remember where I bought them from, but you can, you know, find one online. Just make sure you have it commercial free, I, like for commercial use. So now we're going to set this up for cutting. I have a script font, so I'm going to right click weld. While I'm at it, I'm going to right click and make that a compound path into one object. And then I'm just going to take this entire design and combine this into one object by making compound path. So I'm going to repeat the process with this one. Weld, make compound path, and now let's combine this whole thing. And the reason why I make this one object is it makes it easier to resize and set up for cutting. Now this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to look a little bit bigger than my Good Morning Pumpkin because it is uh, not as, <coughs> excuse me, as wide. So we're going to go through, I'm going to click on this, and I want my design to be about three inches wide, so I'm not that far off. I'm going to click on this design, go to my top toolbar right here. I already locked this, so I'm going to type in a distance of three inches, hit enter, and then we're set there. I'm going to change this design, we can convert this over to three inches. So you can see it's going to look a little bit different. So there are things that you can do to fix that. So I'm going to go back. I'm just hitting Control Z. And I can break this apart and kind of stack it a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead, release compound path. You're going to see this because what it did is it flattened out every inner part. So I'm going to select this word down here, right click, make compound path. You can see I've corrected that one. And then we're going to repeat it with this one, make compound path, and then this one hold down shift to grab that one now typically you won't do this but I decided after the fact that I wanted to um, change it around a little bit fix it so this is something that if you make your mistake and you have to change it around you can do that so now you can see I have this stacked up a little bit higher so when then I resize it won't look as weird so we're gonna set it up like that I'm not going to worry too much about my aligning because it's going on a mug. So we'll go ahead, right click, make compound path. And now I can resize this back to three inches. And now it looks a little bit more proportionate with the other one. So because we're doing this on FDC decal vinyl, I don't need to mirror it. So I'm going to draw boxes around here and set it up for cutting. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut these both at the same time because I have vinyl that will fit both of them. The most important part about this and what I want to emphasize with this video is that you need to be precise with your cutting with something like this. So for this design, I want to go and pick my FDC preset. So I have FDC vinyl and this has a uh, force of six, a depth of three, and my speed at one. I'm gonna cut this as slow as possible at one, and then I also have this option right here turned on for an overcut. So that does, when uh, your vinyl ends over here, it does a little notch on the side to make sure that it cuts all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead, lead, uh, not lead, load my material in there, and then I will see you when I am weeding my design. All right, so I'm weeding this design. I didn't really like reverse weeding it, so I actually recut this. I know it's a little counterintuitive, but I felt like this was going to give me more control. So I went ahead and got these little sections out, and this is a great design for the TRW tweezers. So we have them here. I really like these because they have the, if I can figure out how to get in the camera, there you go. They have these flat edges, and the ends, the little tweezer parts, are really sharp. So I can be super precise with getting my little sections out. So I have this all set here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I did this with the last one to test it. I'm going to snap weed this. The idea behind that is that you pull up really quickly, you snap it off, and it should, I don't know, weed out these detailed designs a little bit easier. Now I'm going to fix this little section here because I cut it so close. Let's go ahead and weed from here. So, we're gonna so check it. So I got that. And then... Ooh, it took off this top part. But I noticed it, so I'm gonna just drop this back on there. Kind of hold this as I go. And then you can see it shifted a little bit, not a big deal. Because this is on the little backing, which is kind of more slick, you can kind of nudge this around and put it back in place. And you can see a very slight indent from uh, the cutter, like into the backing. So that's what I'm using as my guide to kind of put in there. And I'm just using my little nail polish holder for my weeded sections. Um, if you guys follow me for a while, you'll know I get these from Craft Chameleon. I love them. I'm gonna set that up. Let's go ahead and finish out these little parts. So this is, yeah, this is a really good project for the TRW tweezers because I'm just digging right in. You kind of use it to poke it like you would with the, um, weeding tool, but you also can grip it at the same time. So really good. All right, so now we're ready to cut and apply our uh, transfer tape. Let me go ahead and bring the camera out to make it easier for you to see. Okay, so we have both designs set. I'm going to go ahead cut it out of my vinyl. Now I always try to keep several feet of white FDC vinyl on hand because it just works so well for a ton of different things. Um, now that I say it out loud, one of these I should have cut in black. <laughs> so we can kind of decide which one we want on, uh, which design we want on the cup. And then I'm just going to basically repeat the process with black FDC because I got so excited that I did them both at the same time. So let me go ahead and cut my second color and then I will finish off the process. All right, here we go again. So I'm just going to go ahead, unload it, take it off the mat. Um, you don't have to cut with a mat for FDC, but I just wanted to make sure that my cuts would be correct. I didn't want to have to adjust my rollers. So we're going to just cut this off of here. So this is the same FDC vinyl in black. And <laughs> I'll just repeat the same process. So we have this guy. And then we're just going to go ahead and snap weed it. Get a good grip. This did rip off an eye, so when you do this, be careful, like actually pay attention. So we're just, I'm just going to go over, grab this little guy, cool, super simple. Most of the time something like this won't happen, but you just want to be mindful. But the great thing is uh, when you do something like this, you will see a slight indent in your backing from your cut before. So it's almost like a little fill in the lines of where it needs to go. So super easy. So we're just going to go ahead, use our TRW tweezers to get rid of these sections. All right. So now we finally have it. So now we can put our transfer tape on here. So we'll just go ahead and grab our transfer tape. And I'm going to try to get as close to this edge as I can to see if I can use the rest of this transfer tape for my other decal. Maybe? Yeah. Check it out. So we have that set. 
going to use my scraper. Oops, I just lifted it up. So you can see that folded on itself. I'll fix it before I apply it. So we're going to do opposite color on my mug. So let's go ahead and do the easy one first. So I'm actually going to put this on the reverse side so that, like, you know, you can take pictures and it'll kind of be matching. So we're going to go right here. I'm going to peel up our decal. So let's get this ready to apply. So we have this one. We'll use our scraper. Alright, so there's our first one. Let's get cozy. Now we'll go over. We'll peel up for our good morning pumpkin. So I'm just going to turn it my way so I can see it a little bit better. And there we have it guys, my cute couples matching mugs. Again, these are from the Target Dollar Spot. This is the fall section. These are fun little metal coffee mugs. So one thing to keep in mind is you cannot microwave these. And I think it says not recommended for dishwasher either, yeah. So make sure these are hand washed. And these are a perfect thing for these small fonts because um, you need to hand wash it anyway. So that's what's going to preserve this little font anyway. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to us on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, tips, tricks, or giveaways.